Well, good morning and welcome to today's episode of Transformed. Today, I'm going to start a little series called Stand Firm. Welcome to today's message with Pastor Jim Balzano. I want to thank Park Home for our studio furniture and other items done by Made by Vogel that you see in our studio. You know, it's a crazy time to live, isn't it? I mean, there is just all kinds of stuff that's swirling. You can go from COVID to the stuff that's happening internationally with Afghanistan, there's earthquakes, there's all the stuff that's happening. You know, and um, a couple of years ago, I did a series of messages called Stand Firm. And we're talking about Ephesians chapter six. And so for the next several weeks, I want to just visit this and bring out a few high points of those. You know, Ephesians six says this, finally, be strong in the Lord, And in the strength of his might, put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. You see, the armor of God is to protect us from the schemes, methods, the trickery, the deceit, and the craftiness of the devil, his rollers, his powers, and the world forces of wickedness. Paul says this, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rollers against the powers, against the world forces of this darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Now, that word struggle, it means to wrestle a wrestling contest between two in which each are endeavoring to throw the other. And when it is decided, the victor is able to hold his opponent down uh, with his hand upon his neck. So Paul says, therefore, take up the full armor, so you'll be able to resist the devil, um, to be able to resist him in the evil day, and when you've done everything, to stand firm. Now, here's what he says. Stand firm, having girded your loins with truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and then taking up the shield of faith, with which you're able to extinguish all the flames of the arrow of the evil one. So Paul says to stand firm. And he says to stand firm in truth, righteousness, peace, faith, salvation, and the word of God. Now, I want to talk to you today about standing firm in truth. Let me tell you, uh, read your scripture that Jesus said about Satan. He says he was a murderer from the beginning, and he does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. Whatever he speaks is a lie. He speaks from his own nature, for he is a liar and he is the father of lies. And so understand this, first of all, the nature of the devil is falsehood. Through falsehood, the spiritual forces of wickedness are attempting to throw us down, grab us by the neck, and render us defeated. From his lying nature, the devil speaks lies to get us to believe a distorted view of God and his nature. From his lying nature, the devil wants us to believe his lies so we will act and react from a distorted view of who God is. You see, the devil wants us to believe that God isn't good and he's withholding good from us. That's what he did with Adam and Eve in the garden. He wants us to believe that God isn't truthful and he's withholding truth from us. He wants us to believe that God isn't just and he will withhold judgment for our sin. So how do I stand firm against these lies of the enemy who predominantly tries to give me a distorted view of God Give me a distorted view of the truth of God and get me to have a belief in his lie of who God is. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, we stand firm because Jesus is the truth that offsets the lies of the enemy about God. Remember what John said? John said, then the word became flesh and he dwelt among us and we saw his glory, the glory as the only begotten from the father, full of grace and full of truth. We stand firm Because Jesus is the truth that reveals the goodness of God. You want to know what God looks like? Look at Jesus. You want to know what he sounds like? Listen to the words of Jesus in scripture. You see, Jesus, remember what Jesus said? Jesus said to those who had believed in him, if you continue in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine and you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Understand that if you hold to my words, If you hang on to these, you'll know the truth. You see, the truth is found in the words of Jesus. So Jesus was saying to those who had believed in him, 
If you continue in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you will know the truth, and that truth will set you free. We often quote the fact that the truth will set you free, but where does that truth come from? That truth comes from the words of Jesus. If you want to know the truth, know the word of Jesus. Now, we stand firm because the words of Jesus reveal the truth about God, and that is a truth that sets us free. Many live according to the lies of the devil because they don't know the truth, because they don't know the words of Jesus. Through his words, the devil is trying to throw us down, grab us by the neck, and conquer us, but it is the words of Jesus that free us from the grip of the devil. Now, there's also another thing that happens in our lives that helps us stand firm. Jesus said this, I'm going to ask the Father, and he'll give you another helper, and that he will be with you forever. He said, that is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him or know him, but you'll know him because he will abide in you and he will be in you. Now think about this. We stand firm because the spirit of Jesus, which is the spirit of truth, lives inside of us and protects us from the spirit of lies that's outside of us. We stand firm because of the spirit of truth within us reminds us of the truth of Jesus. Remember, Jesus said, he will remind you of everything I have said. We stand firm because this spirit of truth within us guides us into truth and away from the lies of the enemy. You know, but it's not enough just to know the truth. The scripture actually says then we practice the truth. John chapter 3, but he who practices the truth comes to light so that his deeds may be manifested as having been found in God. We stand firm because we practice truth. Listen to me. What you practice is what you stand in. The more you practice it, the better you can stand. You live in what you practice. If you practice truth, you'll live in truth. We stand firm because we carry it out. We stand firm because we execute it. We stand firm because we celebrate it. The fact of the matter is, you can stand firm today amidst all of the lies, amidst all of the falsehood, amidst all of the false narratives because you are standing in his word and you're executing and acting upon it. We stand firm because we practice truth that leads us away from the lies of darkness into the light of truth. You see, understand this. I've got to think about this. It's amazing to me why the devil lies to us. He lies to us not just to give us a distorted view of God, but there's one thing he really wants. He wants us to worship him. He wants the worship of God. You see, we worship in spirit and truth. We worship God in spirit and truth. The enemy wants the worship that's belonged to God. You know, sin is worship based upon a lie. It's worship based upon a lie. We stand firm because Jesus is the truth upon whom we worship God. The lies of the devil are to bring us to a place of worshiping him through deception. The truth of God revealed to us through Jesus causes us to worship God in spirit and truth. Here's the fact of the matter. The fact of the matter is the enemy, according to Jesus, is a liar from the beginning. His nature is falsehood, but Jesus is the truth about God. The enemy wants to give you a distorted view of who God is. That's why he perpetrates evil in this world. And then people say, why did God do this? God didn't do it. There's an enemy that did it. If you want to stand firm in truth, you got to do it through Jesus. Jesus is the truth that reveals who God is. He's the truth that reveals what God is. He's the truth that reveals the character of God. Stand firm in truth. God bless you. Have a great week.